Hi guys, I'm in trouble. <laughs> I was uh, trying to replace uh, the starter for my 2002 Honda CRV. As you guys know, replacing the starter for the CRV is a little bit tricky because it's located underneath uh, the intake manifold. So yesterday I took about one hour to take everything apart uh, to uh, remove the intake manifold. I did not disconnect uh, the cable for the uh, generation paddle because yeah we have enough enough space here and also disconnect uh, uh, the I think the vacuum uh, hose and a uh, coolant hose there are two <laughs> I'm stupid I forgot to drain the coolant so <laughs> it's kind of emergency so I just plug it with extender and uh, empty bottle so <laughs> that's just very stu stupid way don't do that but the trouble I got is I have removed the two bolts that hold the starter on the engine. Here the big one is a 70 millimeter and the smaller one but which is longer uh, is 14 millimeter. I removed them but the starter just like stick on the engine. It does not move a little bit even I uh, hammer it yeah, with a rubber hammer. It does not work. This is my starter, uh, the new one. They should be identical. It has only uh, two bolts to hold the starter, yeah, which I have removed. So, in the beginning, I thought, okay, because this car is kind of rusty, you see, all rust here, all rust here. I just think, okay, that's because it got rust uh, between the starter and the engine. So. It may, maybe I apply some WD-40 and free the rust and uh, yeah to to move it to remove it, but it does not work at all. So I think I I'm in the wrong direction. I get home and uh, Google and uh, walk through a lot of forums. I found the reasons. That is because my starter, uh, the gear of of my starter, get stuck with the gear of the flywheel so <laughs> that will be a big trouble for me um, basically I, I don't know any uh, practical solution for this problem but I'm going to try uh, someone told me I need to like uh, remove the transmission to get a space to touch the flywheel and maybe because it gets stuck the teeth of the flywheel may be broken so it will be a very expensive repairment so by now I'm not going to consider re remove the transmission. Uh, I will do my first try. Okay, I will uh, turn the wheel of the car. Hopefully that can it can turn the flywheel. If I turn the wheel, okay, of the car, and then if the flywheel moves a little bit, maybe I can free my starter and I remove the starter and check the teeth of the flywheel. If the flywheel is still okay, I'm not going to take apart the transmission. Okay, that is what I'm going to do. Uh, to be honest, I don't have too much hope for that. If you guys can share your experience or your message in a comment, that will be a great. Yeah, hopefully this video can uh, help others has similar issues. I'll keep updating. So if I got solution, I will post a new video to share it with you guys okay thank you so much yeah